Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you have not subscribed to our channel, definitely hit that subscribe button as well as the bell uh, to be notified of the videos coming up that are going to be going um, that are going to be going up uh, so you can get notified. We have tons of new videos coming up. So let's get into your reading Libra. Let's see what spirit has for you in regards to your love and romance. Now the first cards that we're going to be using are the oracles. Once we're done with that, we will get into your tarot card. Now your first card here, Libra, is the door to personal healing and happiness. Second card here is woman holding a coin, an angel of love. All right, Libra. I see you guys very much working on your self-growth or working on yourselves. Uh, this could be dealing with past traumatic events, healing uh, in regards to past relationships, or learning about a certain pattern or behavior that you have a tendency of doing when it comes to romance. Now, the door to personal healing and happiness is uh, almost a representation of you may have been put in a situation or in a connection, and this is for those of you guys that are single. Um, you could have been dealing with some type of connection that was very unexpected to you. Uh, the door to personal and healing and happiness, it, it's almost like it triggers, their, whether you were aware of this or not, it triggered certain emotions or feelings that perhaps perhaps you've had a very suppressed for quite a while now with the woman holding a coin this is new love coming in for you libras um this is a representation of a relationship or a connection that has the potential to evolve however with the door to personal healing and happiness i feel that for some of you guys uh you already met this person and there is like i said there was like a triggering energy something that uh could have happened within this connection that either you were scared of some type of rejection or you were scared of the possibilities because you felt this connection very strongly or very deeply um they are saying here that uh, open yourself to love libra you have the angel of love here as well so i feel that for a lot of you guys you're going to be experiencing a lot of endings in regards to relationships and relationships that have not either worked out for you or relationships where you keep going breaking up and going back breaking up and going back um there is healing that needs to happen and the healing cannot happen if you're refusing to let go of the past with the with the woman holding a coin and the angel of love card this is talking about love being in your sphere this is about love being around you or a specific individual that is going to bring out um it's almost like confronting your fears or confronting your demons from the past but it is healing energy because in this card the woman is in purple right and purple is a royal color when we're talking about uh, when we're talking about spirituality, when we're talking about hierarchy in the spiritual realm. So I feel that this connection is like you feel this connection and they feel this connection, but there is something that needs to happen within you, Libra. And again, we go back to this healing that you need to work on your fears or the fear of it's almost as if you're chasing or wanting happiness and then when this person came into your life you were you were challenged to rise to the occasion for some of you guys it could be that you refused this connection for others of you it could be that you feared this connection and you couldn't explain why um, and you could have walked away or you could have brought up your walls. And what they're telling you here, it's very important for the next coming weeks for you to be open to this connection or to be open to love in general. Uh, because with this healing that you're going through, uh, this is also a very strong connection that has the potential to grow into something long term and is going to not only help you in the sense of feeling emotionally fulfilled, but also healing past traumas or past experiences that you still are carrying up until this day. So again, be mindful of that. Okay, let's get into your reading. Let's see what the cards 
say here in regards to this connection. Now, the left side is going to be the person of your interest or the person you're currently dealing with, and the right is a representation of your energies. Now, the first card here is the Judgment card, and that's exactly the card that I was sensing when I was seeing um, your Oracle cards. It's, it's A decision was made here. Now, this could have been on your side or this could have been uh, on the person of your interest side, but there was a decision, something that came to some type of culmination, um, and it's almost, there's a rebirth. There is an opportunity uh, that is going to be manifesting for you and for this person. Now, they're coming up here with the Queen of Swords, and this is how they're viewing you. So they're seeing you a bit detached, Libra. They're seeing you a bit cold or distant. Um, for some of you guys, you can see here, the woman has the hand open. It's like you're expecting, but at the same time, you're holding the sword. So this could be you being extremely guarded or waiting for them to take some type of action here. Now, the next card is the Five of Cups. So if you're dealing with a situation where you were dealing with someone that you felt the connection very strongly or very powerful, powerfully, uh, and there was some type of disconnect or you're no longer dealing or communicating with this individual, they're definitely missing you here with the Five of Cups. There is a feeling of almost like you've rejected them or a feeling of questioning exactly what went wrong in this connection. Now, the cards that represent you here is the Ten of Wands. So it could have been that you're dealing with a lot of burdens, Libra, a lot of things that are needing your attention right now. Uh, this could be with family. This could be with children. If you have children, this could just be a representation of responsibilities in general. And it's almost like you were kind of forced, uh, for some of you guys, you weren't doing it on purpose, um, the disconnect here that happened or the the non-communication, it could have just been that you, you're currently dealing with a lot of energies, a lot of life lessons that you have to go through at this present time to be able to get you to the next level. Now, the next card here is the Ace of Coins. So the, you could be dealing with an Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. For others of you, you may be dealing with Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or you could be dealing with a person from the past that is a water sign, uh, and the person or the individual uh, that is coming in for you is Earth Energy bound. So it could be an Earth Energy. Again, it doesn't have to be... Um, it doesn't have to be a female. Uh, if you're a male, sorry, if you're a female, it could be a male as well. Uh, Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo type of energy. But I definitely do see that you acknowledge this connection or you acknowledge that this was the beginning of something. Um, now with the five of swords, the five of swords is pride. So I feel that in this connection, your defenses could have came up. You may have felt um, like things were not moving the way you expected them to or the way you wanted them to. You could have grown a bit impatient and could have made some type of decision. For some of you guys, it could have been that you created some type of blockage. You could have blocked the individual. You could have uh, blocked their number so you wouldn't be getting any text or, or vice versa. It is a general reading. But with the Ten of Wands, I feel that there was a lot of burdens that you're currently dealing with or that you're taking on right now because you're right at the brink of a new beginning. With the Ace of Coins, there is promise for something new. There is an opportunity um, to create some type of stability or to create some type of longevity in this connection uh, because they, they want you, Libra. They're, they're thinking about you or they're missing you or they're wondering what the hell went wrong. You're over here like, well, I had a lot of responsibilities. Um, I'm trying to chase a dream or chase some type of manifestation. But with the Five of Swords, there is, I feel that on both sides, there is a feeling of rejection. Now, this person is open, but I see you like making a decision or being closed off because of ego or because you felt your ego was hurt or because you felt... Uh, that they weren't necessarily that forthcoming or that interested in you and you were like, okay, that's 
that's enough waiting or that's enough of me uh, putting into this energy. Uh, so you made the decision to create some type of distance here. But again, I feel that it's ego based. Um, and again, the ego could have a lot to do with past traumatic events or experiences that we've gone through. Like they were saying, there's a lot of healing that needs to happen within you, Libra. Now, the next card here is the weight, the eight of wands and the page of cups so i feel that this person is waiting for you to communicate libra they are open or their heart is open and they are willing to um take things where pick up things where they left off uh, i see them being emotionally available and being ready basically or hoping to hear from you to take some type of action now you have the ace of swords here as well as temperance so I do see you taking some type of initiative or coming to the understanding that there's a need for you to take some type of action here with the temperance. You've been patient about that or you've been very much in your head. Uh, you could have been dealing with the situation with the Sagittarius involved or a Sagittarius could have something to do with this discord of miscommunication. However, temperance can also represent healing or coming to the understanding that you cannot sit there and try to wait uh, for someone to take action be when the other person is waiting for you to take action. So I feel that both of you guys are waiting uh, and no one's making a move. What they're showing me here with the five of one, uh, five of swords, sorry, is that you need to let go of the fear of rejection or you have to let go of the feeling that, you know, if you make the first move, they're going to reject you because over here they're saying, I'm waiting for you, Libra. I'm waiting for you to contact me or to make some type of movement. So I hope that this gives you guys some type of clarity and insight. I wish you guys the very best. Don't forget to subscribe. And like I said, we'll see each other soon. Love you guys. Bye.